In this very brief tutorial, I'd like to go over how monetary policy works during recession. Monetary policy is used to increase real GDP and reduce unemployment if the economy is in recession. So here we have a aggregate supply, aggregate demand model showing the economy in recession. Real GDP is below potential, suggesting the unemployment rate is a Above the natural rate. Policymakers can influence aggregate demand indirectly by changing the interest rate, which is going to impact the quantity of investment by firms and to some degree the quantity of goods and services consumed by households. So let's take a look at our liquidity preference model. We start out with some baseline interest rate R0. The economy is here in recession, real GDP below potential. Suppose the central bank would like to reduce the interest rate choosing some target R1. Now with a lower level of interest, we should see an expansion in consumption and investment. And to achieve this lower rate of interest, the central bank or Federal Reserve is going to use its tools to expand the money supply. And our new equilibrium interest rate will be at a lower rate. There is a negative relationship between the quantity of investment and the interest rate. So if the interest rate falls, then investment is going to increase and we're going to see an increase in aggregate demand, hopefully closing this gap. There may be a stimulating effect on consumption as well. Uh, some models include consumption, some don't, but either way, we get a rightward shift in aggregate demand. We should see an increase in real GDP, a reduction in unemployment, and also an increase in the price level. That's successful expansionary monetary policy. Short-run expansionary monetary policy may have negative consequences. Expansionary monetary policy could lead to inflation. In the long run, the rate of inflation is determined by the difference between the long-run rate of money growth and the long-run rate of growth in real GDP. If the monetary expansion is too great, too much for too long, we will see an increase in inflation. I hope this very short tutorial helped you understand just a little bit about how we might explain expansionary monetary policy using our aggregate supply, aggregate demand framework.